What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today Apple has released the 6th beta of macOS Tahoe to developers, and hopefully soon the release of the public beta testers. In this video, I'll be showing you what's new inside the software. The software came in at 3.1GB on my M4 MacBook Air. Alright, what is new here inside of Tahoe? And the first thing you'll notice right off the bat is that we got a new onboarding screen. So basically, it says, Welcome to macOS Tahoe 26, introduce a new design with liquid glass. If we were to go to the next slide, you're going to see right here, personalize your Mac with a new look for different app icons. So basically, this is an animation of the icons switching from light mode to dark mode and then to glass mode. And then the third slide right here is access apps and spotlight right from the dock. So it's referring to the apps app, which I know a lot of people think is controversial, but personally, I don't think it's controversial anymore. It was just flawed inside of the first beta. And this is also Apple doubling down that launchpad's going away and that the apps app is the future. We could also take a look at a new icon right here for GarageBand, which has not been updated here. Apple has to go inside the app store and release the GarageBand with the new app icon at this point. And then the fourth and final slide is make and take calls right from your Mac related to a nearby iPhone. So this is referring to the new phone app inside of Tahoe. But yeah, this is just showing some of the new features inside of macOS Tahoe before people are actually inside of Tahoe and ready to start using it. Now, I don't know if Apple will be doing a similar thing with 0.1, 0.4.2 updates, but we'll have to wait and see. My guess is that it's probably not going to happen, but it would be pretty cool if it did. Alright, the next change is that if you were to go inside of the control center right here, you're going to see that the animation has been completely removed. So there used to be a zooming in animation, kind of similar to what we got inside of the previous iOS beta, but unfortunately we don't have that feature inside this beta. It just opens up and then just fades just like it did before inside of macOS. So kind of similar to the context menu, if you were to right click, it doesn't animate or anything. It just appears and then if you were to click away, it just fades away. So this is basically what we have inside the control center. It kind of got reverted back to beta 4 behavior, I think. But beta 5, it did some zooming in animation, but that is no longer present inside of this beta. Now the next change is that if you were to go inside of any app right here and then click on help you're gonna see that the search bar has been adjusted right here so going inside the search bar you're gonna see right here that it used to go all the way here and not have any padding around it but now it has all the padding it needs to make it look good but it still also works for example if you were to just go inside of new it does the same exact thing that is always done but it's pretty cool to see that apple is updating the design to make it look better and more consistent with macOS, especially inside of Tahoe with the redesign. Now the next change is that if you were to go into a toggle right here, we have tip window background with window appearance, you no longer need to hold for the liquid glass effect to take effect. You just need to click it and you can see the liquid glass effect takes effect whenever you click on it. Before you would need to tap and hold in order for it to do that, now you don't. Alright, now let's talk about performance, bugs, battery life, all that kind of stuff. So we got a 3674 on the single core and a 15131 on the multi-core. Comparing it to beta 5, we could see here that we got a 3667 on the single core. It is higher here in this beta, and then we got a 15238 on the multi-core, which is actually a little bit lower, but not too much lower that this is considered a margin of error difference on both of them. So performance will see seem about the same inside of beta 5, but I do have a little complaint I want to talk about inside of this latest beta. So if we would go into the apps app right here, and let's say I want to search up one of my apps right here, it just doesn't show up right here. So this is due to a spotlight indexing issue. So usually if this happened inside a spotlight, basically all I would do is I would just go into Launchpad and then search in there. But now I have to go inside a Finder and then go into the Applications folder and then search it like that. That bug is definitely quite annoying, but it's not as bad as a major issue. So you could just simply restart and usually that will fix it. If not, you could just re-index your spotlight, which is pretty easy to get started, but it is time consuming because it has to look at all the files all over again, but it is what it is. Anyways, what can we expect next from Apple? So I'm gonna say that beta 7 is gonna come out here on the 18th, and then beta 8 here on the 25th, and then beta 8 will be the final beta inside of Tahoe, and then we're gonna have a week off, 
unless there's a major issue that Apple needs to fix. Usually we get a week off if everything seems about perfect inside of Tahoe and no major issues are in the software. But if not, we're gonna get a beta 9. The last time this has happened was iOS 16. But other than that, pretty much it has never happened before. And then after that, we're gonna get the release candidate and stuff like that. If you continue to have issues, please be sure to report them in the feedback app. And anyways, that's pretty much everything I gotta say about macOS Tahoe. Very solid update, come back on my video on Saturday to see what everything is like, performance, and stuff like that. So I can give more of a long term review of it. Anyways, thanks for watching, come on, subscribe, got my apps in the description down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!